Growing up, I really didn't know. I wasn't taught my history. In northern New Mexico, we are a um, isolated society. I'm fortunate to be able to express visually what I think will make people aware of the events as to who we are. I grew up painting like everyone else, doodling working on small um, imagery and paper and canvas. You have these visions. The visions are great. The creation of a thought and a vision is emerging out into visual elements. Emergence to me is that everything is alive and in movement or to place things in the movement of the cycles that are out there. One of the important elements that I've realized in any creation of artwork is to ask scholars who know, who know what they're talking about. You have to uh, dialogue, you have to hear what people are saying, you have to digest and to come up with an imagery and a design that is first historically correct, a design that is going to say something, is, is running a fine line and trying to walk on water without sinking. But mainly you got to realize that the, that the end result is truthful, factual, and honest. I've always liked sciences as growing up. My, my parents always had us working outside, working with our hands, planting to grow watermelons and beans, frijoles and squash. Uh, I was fortunate to get a degree in biology. I love the sciences. And to me, as you, as you look at the, the world and how it runs and, and how the body is, is moving and what's ne needed for nutrition and what made up the uh, genetics and the DNA elements of different societies and what one learned from one another, this mix and how we touch the earth, that ties us together. When you plant a seed, you have to water it, take care of it. We've got to share water. We've got to communicate. The blue is the concept of the acequias, the irrigation practices which are still in existence. So it's nice to be in an educational institution and the stimulation of uh, and a vibrancy of, um, of people, youth, professors, uh, teaching. And it got me so excited that I enrolled in violin and modern dance, which I wasn't able to finish either because I had to finish a fresco.